Today is a special day for me, and it begins in a coffee shop in the small town of South Bend, Washington. I first visited this place about a month earlier during a solo day trip to the Washington coast. This time, however, I'm joined by this man, my dad. And we're not going to the Washington coast, we're going to the state next door to spend a day in one of the most iconic beach towns in all of America. Some of my earliest memories originate from this coastal haven. I am of course talking about Cannon Beach, Oregon. Hot sand on toes, cold sand in sleeping bags. I come to know that memories were the best things you ever had. The summer short, beat down on bony back, so far from home where the ocean stood, down dust and pine cone. So why am I with my dad? Why are we in Cannon Beach? And why is this a special day for me? If you didn't already know, I've been into making videos and taking photos for a really long time. It is definitely the thing I am most passionate about, and I owe that to my dad. He was and still is a photographer himself and taught photography for many years. He's the reason I first picked up a camera, and he's the reason why I got into film photography. Now, while my dad still snags a photo or two from time to time, he pretty much has been on a decade-long hiatus from the art form but that changes today. At the turn of the millennium, my dad transitioned to digital photography as did many photographers of that era, so it's been a cool 20 years since he's last shot on film. I figured there'd be no better way to get him back behind the reins than to give him my very first film camera, the one he gifted me three years ago, the Bronica SQ, and spend a day in one of our favorite places taking photos. Dad? Always have been. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've been wanting to make this video for a long time, shooting film with you because you got me into film, which I'll, I want to touch on later. But when I think, when I thought about where I wanted to do this video, there's three places I think that I think of when I think of you and like where you like to be. One is Hawaii, Norway. And the other is Cannon Beach. Cannon Beach is a bit of a easier one to get to for us than Norway and Hawaii right now, and a little bit cheaper. So I thought this would be a fun spot to come and do this video. Well, there can be sequels, can't there? Uh, it's a three-part, actually. It's a trilogy. So. All right, a trilogy. I like it. I just wanted to kind of get your backstory on why Cannon Beach is has that special place in your heart. Like, why are you so drawn here? Out of anywhere on the Washington coast, the Oregon coast, you know, you've been up 101 and explored a lot of these areas, but you seem to always come back to Cannon Beach. So I was just wondering why, why you're drawn to this particular town. It's just always been the spot for me. The Oregon coast from basically Seaside to Lincoln City was a place that our family went often. We went further south of Lincoln City and we would camp at Fort Stevens fairly often too, but I remember coming here for the first time and um, seeing Jeffrey Hole's gallery when it was just this really small little, and he was an up and coming artist, and I fell in love with this place. It didn't look quite like it does now. I mean, it's developed some over the years, obviously, but they've done this exceptionally good job keeping the charm and keeping the spirit and the feel of, of this little town, so. You know, going all the way back to when I was just a toddler, coming here with my parents, I have these extremely fond memories. And I have these fond memories of walking with your mom on the beach, and um, she loved it down here too. If you remember after she passed away, the first thing I did was put you guys in a car and we all came down here together. When I was uh, recovering from my burn, um, one of the pain management things they did was um, they had a a person come in and sort of guide us in this imagery sort of thing so that we, we could, you know, we wouldn't have to use as, as, uh, as many drugs during wound care. They, they did this sort of visualization sort of thing and they'd always ask me, go someplace that you remember being safe and comfortable and happy and I always went to this same place every time where my mom was walking my brother and I down to the beach and it was down here on the Oregon coast so I mean it goes all the way back to you know, being two years old three years old I mean I've literally been coming down here for six decades well we're here we have some film cameras with us and 
the premise was to have you shoot a roll of film for the first time in how long has it been since you last a roll of film like, like since you last like shot a roll of film developed it made a print or just went through that process 20, 20 years 20 probably. years to the early, early 2000s was when I sold my Mamiya my medium format camera which was the last I had but if I would have kept the Mamiya I, I could have sold it for a lot more now than I yeah. sold it back then yeah well we're here to shoot a roll of film or two I brought like seven rolls in case you really want to go off so let's load up some film and walk, walk around Cannon Beach I'm curious to see what you choose to photograph. As you said, this is a very special place. We'll have a fun day shooting some film, Cannon Beach, first time in 20 years. Wow. Do you have any idea on how to load that thing? Well, I used to know. Ah! Port 400 for you. That'll be a good place to start because it's nice and forgiving in case you mess up your exposures. I hope it's very forgiving. you remember what film you shot mostly when you were shooting? Was there a medium format, I want to say Belva or? Velvia. Velvia. Velvia 50. Yeah, I shot with that a ton. Let's hit the town and see what we find. Once in a while, I wouldn't blame you if you want to leave, but I'm sure I'd miss your smile. The first stop of the photo outing is, of course, the Jeffrey Hull Gallery. Jeffrey Hull is a renowned watercolorist and oil painter residing in Cannon Beach. My dad now has seven of his pieces and makes a note to stop by whenever he's in town. Sing it for the sun, but I want the night. All the questions won't ever leave. The stairs to the morning brings a brand new life. I don't think about being rich, but I wonder if I'll ever be. Probably end up in a ditch. You can be mad, but you can't be me. After a long chat with Jeffrey, my dad decided to spend his first frame on a portrait of his old friend. It's a game for guessing and I'm in my prime. He took a couple more images inside the gallery and then we headed outside to see what we could find through the streets and small alleyways within the town. But don't tell on me Like we're dancing in a sink You can be mad but you can't be me Tell my baby I need a hand I can't eat all of this ice cream I don't care if you understand You can be bad but you can't be me I'm not looking for the in-between I want to see it I want to see the digital image of it To see if I nailed it or not and I'm in my prime It's a game for guessing and I'm in my prime Woo! It's, it's a game for guessing It's a game for guessing oh! There's three mandatory stops for my dad while visiting Cannon Beach the Jeffrey Hole Gallery, Sleepy Monk Coffee, and Pizza Affetta. He'll actually make an argument for it being the best slice of pizza money can buy. I don't know if I'd go that far, but it is pretty damn good. I mean, this is a bit of a twist to be eating Pizza Affetta. That's Sleepy Monk Coffee. The best of both worlds right here. How has it been? It took me a while to get used to it again, especially the orienting, the, the composition. I mean, this side to side and the right to left and the up and down, you know, it's like the camera's on a gyro. <laughs> it's, so I'm kind of getting used to it. I'm not into symmetry necessarily. It has more to do with my vertical lines being where I want them to be in relationship to my horizontal lines and sometimes that can be tricky you know I want it to and then I forget sometimes how easy it is in Photoshop just to turn it slightly. Is there specific things that you look for in a composition? 
like what draws you to take a picture? I do like landscapes. I mean, if I think back at all the photos I've taken in my life, and especially when I was really taking a lot of photos, um, when I travel and things like that, I love landscapes. You know, I like wide angle stuff. I like, you know, capturing the big picture sort of thing. This camera, this the Bronica, I mean, it kickstarted my entire journey with film photography. Before that camera came along, I really had no idea what film photography was even about, what the medium was. Like I knew of film, you know, I've al I always considered myself a filmmaker, but I never really understood that lineage with the medium. You decided to gift me this camera. It was just a very random act that was like extremely unexpected to me and it completely changed the trajectory of like my entire life. I was wondering why you decided to do that. So when I went into the store and I saw this, and there were other cameras in there too, but this one was in such good condition and everything else, and I grabbed it and got it in my hands and everything. That's a camera that like I just wanted to buy for myself. Always wanted a Bronica. I saw that one, I thought, oh my gosh, this is my chance. I mean, it's, it's not ridiculously priced. And, and then I start thinking about the fact that you had this love for photography and video and you were just going bonkers with it. I mean, your interest level and um, how fast you were picking it up and learning it. And I was going to get it like, ah, uh, you know, this would be a cool retro thing to do. You know, to what degree I would have taken it out and started shooting again, I don't know. I mean, I had no idea. But I thought, this is something that I think Bray would really get into. I mean, I just had this feeling. And I wanted to have you dive into film because I felt like until he shoots with film, he's not going to really know what the whole photography thing is. I really believed he'll be a better photographer if he starts shooting with film because he'll just have to slow down and really think things through. And um, I remembered when I went from 35 millimeter to the, to the medium format, oh, I just loved it. I loved the winding of the film. I loved the, the shutter sound and it was more prominent and just the click of it, the, the mechanism itself is just, has so much more heft to it. And the, the feel of the camera, the, the size of it and the weight of it in your hands, I mean, I had no idea that you'd get into it this much, but I really believed if he wants to be a photographer, this will make him better. It will make him love it more. It'll make him shoot with more thought. So it was nothing more than that. It's just pretty cool to be able to say that, you know, my dad, who really initially got me to pick up a camera, has completely resurfaced my love and interest in it by showing me a new medium and a new format. Yeah, I, I've been loving it. All right, let's hit the beach. We are in Cannon Beach after all. Oh yeah. John and I were in Cannon Beach one time and some guy comes up and says, hey, is there anything going on in this town? I mean, you know, what's there to do here? And one of the two of us said, well, you know, if you walk right down the road here, there's a beautiful beach. And his comment was, I've already seen a beach. It's like, okay. You know, well then what are you doing in Cannon Beach?
Look at Mike getting after it, asking some strangers if he can photograph them. I love it. There he drove his picture perfect in his face. Brown dots upon your curves on the floor. Now when I know you don't deserve to be let down, gotta stay out of the dark. But you don't know how, gotta stay out of the dark. But you don't know how. And it's okay, Joe. It's been a long day. And it's not your fault. Someone is worth It's okay, Joe. It's been a long day, and it's not your fault. Someone's work just ain't gonna get done. Hey, Joe. I got one more question How does it feel To spit that love into a microphone Hey Joe I got one more question How does it, how does it feel To spit that love into a microphone Hey Joe It's been a great day so far with some incredible weather and coastal ambiance. We have about 30 minutes before sunset and we're both eager to shoot the remaining film as the sun heads towards the horizon. I think for both my dad and I, this day was about a lot more than just the images we captured. In 2008, our family lost the backbone that held us together. My brother and I lost our mom, and my dad lost his wife. Through my teenage years, I felt myself grow apart from my family even though I didn't want to. Through college, I struggled to be myself around the people I loved most, and the unwanted suppression of those emotions was one of the most frustrating experiences I've ever endured. I had an endless amount of love, enthusiasm, and appreciation for my dad and brother that I wanted to express to them, but for whatever reason, I couldn't. Over the last couple of years, I have really come to understand the magnitude of all that my dad did for my brother and I, Raising us as a single parent and going above and beyond to take care of us in times of need is something I'll never be able to repay him for. But it's days like these that bring me as close as I can get. So no, today is not about the final images. It's not about the compositions or exposures. It's about the entire photography experience. Too often people get caught up in images being good or bad, overexposed or underexposed, or having a couple of light leaks. Meanwhile, they've forgotten about the big picture. The hike they just went on, the person they just met, the conversation they just had, the place they just visited, the moment that made life worth living. Today, photography brought my dad and I together in one of our favorite places on a beautiful day and gave us a wonderful story to tell. The photographs are simply a reminder of that. Don't get caught up in the minutia. You'll miss the point. Photography can take you on incredible journeys and help you through the worst of times. Don't suffocate its ability to do just that. I'm running from nothing, no thoughts in my mind. All my heart was all black, but I 
saw something shine Thought that heart was yours But it might just be mine I could share it with you If you gave me the time I'm all blood and all gold I'm a shot through the dark I'm a black sinkhole If we weren't for second chances We'd all be alone